Hi guys, welcome to this week's episode of Soatics. You know what you're here for. Today we are learning how to lengthen a suit jacket and blazer. I know, not just shorten, like actually lengthen a blazer. So I actually got this jacket at the thrift store and I love the fit and everything. I just thought it was a little too short for me. So I figured this was the best and perfect opportunity to show you guys how to lengthen a blazer. So throughout the video, I also explained how to shorten the blazer as well. Well, but towards the end I honestly started thinking maybe I should do a separate video to shorten the blazer but I'll let you guys let me know after watching this tutorial so this one is a little bit of a long one and it's pretty detailed so I really hope you guys are able to hang in there with me on this one and you know if you have any questions I'm always here to help you out anyway if you're new to my channel and you love what you see so far please make sure to hit the subscribe button to see more awesome videos from me and let's get started To get started, first you want to make sure to put your jacket on. This should help you identify how long you want to increase the length or how short you want to decrease the length of your sleeves. Then we're going to go into the materials we need for adjustment. Of course you need your basic jacket and then we need a lightweight to medium scrap piece of fabric that closely matches the color of our jacket. We're also going to need interfacing. So I have my interfacing here as well. And last but not the least, a thread spool. Now we're gonna go ahead and analyze our sleeve. So as you guys can see, this sleeve actually has something called a mitered corner. Now not all jacket blazers have this mitered corner, but most do. So we're going to be recreating this corner. Now, if you're shortening your sleeve, you wanna make sure to trace around how short you want to reduce the sleeve. But because we're lengthening, you don't need to do this. So make sure to trace around how short you wanna reduce your sleeve and then take off your buttons if they have any. Now that we've taken off our buttons, the next thing is basically taking our sleeves apart. So as you guys can see, I'm opening up the seams and I'm also separating my lining from my main jacket. You can also use a seam ripper for this if you're not comfortable using the razor. Now after separating the lining from our main fabric, we're also going to go ahead and actually open up our mitered corner and the other side of our sleeves. So as you guys can see, I'm just using the seam ripper to open this mitered corner up making sure that I'm not poking any holes or ripping any fabric. So I'm opening that mitered corner and also the other side of my sleeve. So after opening that up, then you also wanna remove any tacking thread that's keeping your sleeve in place. So again, I do have some tacking thread here. Sometimes you have glue in your fabric, just make sure to rip that apart so your sleeve actually lays nice and flat, just like this. Now the next step is basically identifying our fold lines. Now, after ripping your sleeves, you should already have fold lines from previous folds of the sleeves. So now I'm just making sure to trace out with my chalk my previous fold line. So we're going to be tracing out the fold line before for the length of my sleeve and also the fold line for the mitered corner previously created. This should be a diagonal line. So I'm tracing out the previous fold line and the mitered corner and now I'm just basically extending which is lengthening my sleeve an inch and a quarter. If you're shortening, you would basically be going up, but since we're lengthening, we're coming down an inch and a quarter from the previous fold line. So now we have our new fold line. You wanna make sure to repeat this process all around the sleeve. Now, as you guys can see, after lengthening, I really do not have enough fabric left to sew up the sleeve. So if you're lengthening, you do wanna make sure to attach an extra piece of fabric so we can sew this all together. To begin this extension, you want to make sure to cut out a piece of fabric that's about 2 inches wide and about 15 inches long, and also some interfacing as well. Now I decided to not use interfacing in mine because my fabric was actually pretty thick, 
but if you have a lightweight fabric, please make sure to use interfacing. Now we have our extension piece and we just want to make sure to walk this extension piece around our sleeve. So as you guys can see, I'm basically just spinning this right at the edge of my sleeve. This is basically going to serve as an extension so we can sew up the sleeve. So you just want to make sure to sew this down in about a half inch. So now we're going to go ahead and actually edge stitch this. So you want to make sure to push the extra seam allowance or the extra fabric towards the piece. And we're just going to go and top stitch at the edge right there. So you want to top stitch all the way from the top to the bottom of the piece. After sewing it down, it should lay nice and flat. So after sewing it down, you should have your sides extending over. You can just make sure to trim this down with your scissors, making sure that the line is actually uh, an extension of your main fabric. As you can see, I'm just trimming the edges down, making sure that the line is nice and strict. Now after this, again, I'm tracing out my former fold line and just retracing out my new fold line, as you guys can see. And then you want to also trace out your previous fold line for the edge of your sleeve. So as you guys can see, we do have that fold line there. I'm just taking the tailor's chalk and tracing that fold line out nice and straight all the way down to the extension piece as well. Now the next thing we're going to do is basically draw a new diagonal fold. So as you guys can see, we do have a previous diagonal fold here, which I'm folding over right now, but we want to basically create a new diagonal fold that's going to be parallel to the old one. Now the new diagonal fold, you want to make sure that it intersects your new fold line and the straight edge of your sleeve. So as you can see, I do have three lines, my new diagonal fold, the straight edge of the sleeve and the new fold line of the length of my sleeve. Once you have this diagonal line, you also want to make sure to trace it on the back side as well. After tracing it on the back side, now we're going to go ahead and use this to create the mitered corner for our new sleeve. Now sewing this on the sewing machine, you want to make sure to basically fold over your fabric where these two lines are matching up. That's why we traced it at the back side as well. So we're folding this over where these two lines are matching up. Now you want to make sure to fold it over where all three lines intersect. As you can see, I do have a trick of putting my seam ripper right at that edge or at that point. So I do have a nice crisp point. So you're placing it on that and sewing it all the way down. So after sewing the corner over, now we're going to turn our fabric to the right side. So you just want to make sure to turn that corner nice and neatly, and you can even use a seam ripper to give that edge a nice point. Once you have that nice pointy edge, now we're going to move around the sleeve. Now I'm just following my new fold line, as you guys can see, up into this middle seam. Now you want to make sure to attach this piece to your main fabric. So you can just go ahead and tack this down with a knitter and thread if you need to, or you can just take fabric glue and attach these two pieces together. Now you just want to make sure to attach it about a half inch away from the actual edge, leaving maybe an inch and a half at the top of your piece so you can attach the lining. Now to finish up the other side of the sleeve, you want to make sure to lay your sleeve nice and flat, just like I'm doing here. Then we're going to grab our tailor's chalk and basically mark where the edge of this side of our sleeve stops. As you guys can see, I'm just marking that with my tailor's chalk. So on this side of the sleeve, you should also notice a previous fold line. So you want to make sure to extend that fold line all the way to the bottom. And as you guys can also notice, I have lost quite a chunk of fabric here from the previous alteration. So I'm just going in just a little bit to give myself that extra room to sew this down. So if you haven't lost any fabric, you really don't need to do this. But if you have, like I've done from the previous alteration, just draw that line all the way and make sure to trace it on the back as well. 
Now we're going to sew this edge down by folding over where those two lines intersect right sides to right side and sewing it from the top all the way to the bottom. After sewing it down, it should look like this. You also want to make sure to turn that over to the right side out, making sure to use your seam ripper just to have that extra pointy edge. Then you want to make sure to lay your sleeves nice and flat, making sure that all the edges are matching up. Then you can also press this neatly on the iron. So after pressing it down, now we're going to basically attach these two flaps together so they don't flap so much. So you want to make sure to turn this over as you guys can see. Now we're going to be grabbing this portion of our sleeve and basically just sewing or tacking that down. So I'm placing the pin here and I'm going to be grabbing these two edges together and I'm going to just tack that down on the sewing machine so it stays neatly in place and doesn't flap around so much. So again, you're going to be coming out here and just sewing that down. After it is sewn down, it should keep that part nice and stable. Then we're gonna go ahead and attach our lining. To attach the lining, you wanna turn this over to the left side and you should also have a previous seam here from previous alterations. Just make sure to open that up as well. Then we're going to use this to attach our lining. So after opening up that seam to about seven to 10 inches wide, you wanna make sure that your sleeve is actually laying in the right direction. So I'm just going in, making sure that my side seams of my sleeve and my lining are matching up. And then we're going to, again, put these two seams together and you want to make sure to match the right side of your lining to the right side of your actual sleeve piece. So again, I'm just going to be pulling that out. If you're shortening your sleeve, you basically want to pull in more of the lining and sew this down around the sleeve. But since we are actually lengthening, we're going to place both fabrics at the same edge and then pin around the sleeve. So you're starting from the middle seam and walking your way around the sleeve edge. Now, when it comes to sewing this down, you want to start from the edge that has the pocket or this hole. Now we're going to sew this down at a half inch from that edge all the way around until you reach the other side of the sleeve. So we're starting from the section with the pocket or the hole, sewing on a half inch from that edge all the way around until we reach the other side. After sewing it on the sewing machine, it should look like this. Sewing it a half inch from one side all the way to the other side. So then we're gonna go ahead and actually turn this over uh, to the right side out. After turning it over, you can also go ahead and press this with an iron. So now we're going to basically finish up with our buttons. So I'm just turning over my sleeves to the right side, making sure that my sleeve edges are laying nice and flat. And now we're going to measure up an inch and a half for our button placement and draw in a half inch line. So this is where we're basically going to place our buttons. Now to sew the buttons, you really do not want to catch the lining as you're sewing the buttons. So I am basically going to be sewing the buttons with the help of the hole that we already created. So I'm pushing my fingers through that hole to create a clear path so I can sew my buttons down without catching any of the lining. So again, I'm just marking my points so I can get started sewing the first button. So you just want to make sure to repeat this process to securely tack on all the buttons. So after finishing up with the sleeves, then we're going to turn over our sleeve to the wrong side and we're just going to finish up that hole we previously opened up just top stitching that on the sewing machine so after top stitching that it should look like this nice and neat make sure to press your sleeve so it lays nice and neat and basically looks unaltered
So at this point, you have successfully lengthened or perhaps shortened your suit jacket or blazer. So you are at the end of the tutorial. As you can see, I really, really love the look of that jacket. I wish I could just make one over again for you guys, but unfortunately it's gonna take way too much time. Anyway, I digress. I know that was a lot of information. If you guys have any questions, please do not hesitate to leave all your questions in the comments. And if you do want me to do a separate shortening video, please make sure to also let me know because I know it was quite a lot, but I really hope you guys uh, learned a lot from this tutorial. If you did like this video, please give this video a big thumbs up. Any questions or anything, make sure to scroll down and leave me a couple of words. I'm gonna be reading those as well. And please make sure to hit the red subscribe button so you can be part of the So Alex family. And I hope to catch you guys next week.